happens so fast and easy and you don't even have to throw the insert nets away if they're still in good shape. It's just one third cup of the 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide in three to four gallons of water and you're ready to go. All right, well, we do finally have to take some of these out because it's getting a little warmer. They just continue to grow and grow and grow, cut the tops off, they're still growing there. But I wanted to show how to clean this perlite. Um, this is just a one year um, net, so it'll be fine. So the first thing we'll do, I'm gonna pull these out. And that's nice clean. Shake off the perlite into a bucket. We'll get the rest of these off of here, get the leaves off. I don't want to waste any. So all the perlite I shook off the roots, I'm going to pour back into this bucket. And then it's as easy as this. Just take your net out, which is in still really good shape. little roots just to clean off. Put it in your hydrogen peroxide mix. I'm going to go ahead and put it like this. Just wash it around a little bit, let it sit about 15 minutes, and it will be completely clean and sanitized for whatever next plant you do. And you can plant the same type again. A lot of times they tell you do not plant, you know, cabbage in the same place, Brussels sprouts in the same place because of disease, but this takes care of all that, so you can do whatever you want it to be. So after 15 minutes, take it out, drain it, and then we just set it back in to the bucket. And we have a whole set of clean, sanitized, perlite. Not wasting a thing. It's fast, safe. <laughs> it just works great. And that's that. Ready for a plant. Alright, when some of the old plants, just get them out. Much root as you can. You just shake them off into another bucket. So you don't waste any of your perlite. And that gets thrown away. It's the perlite. I'm going to put back in here. And then I'm going to clean the perlite in this bucket next. Okay, like I said, these are only a dollar a piece, so I'm going to use a new one in each. It's been three seasons, so they've been doing good. They've outlasted their life. And uh, same thing. Dump it all in. Sometimes they're stuck in there with the roots, but again, that's amazing. Three years of old roots and get the old net, get off the old perlite, and mix this around and get any of the, like this is the old stick again, mix it around get any of the extra roots out that you want, but they'll be sterilized as well, so it won't matter. And let that sit 15 minutes, and go start again. Okay, if you're using the regular Dutch buckets that don't have the insert, I just take the whole bucket and I'll dump it in. I'll show you that in a little bit. And if you have these inserts, go ahead and rinse them in that same solution before you put it back in, just kind of gets anything that might be bad taken care of. Okay, after it's soaked for, oh, I don't know, say 15 minutes or so. Pull this strainer out. Let it drip dry. No, just let it get most of the water out. Remember, this is all hydrogen peroxide solution, which is really good for the plants and their roots anyway. It'll keep out all your root rot, etc. Then I'm gonna set it back down in here. Back around. Here we 
we go. Just like new, ready for the new plants. That simple. Okay, this also works if you've got hydroton or clay pebbles, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. Dump them in. As you see, there's roots. Clean those off the bucket there. Mix them up in here again. Get out any of the other roots, but you know what? Even the roots will be okay because you're getting those cleaned in the hydrogen peroxide solution as well. So it'll act almost like a cocoa core. More places for the roots to, the new roots to grow into. I like to get as much out as I can. And just leave those soak for a while while we do the next bucket. All right, on the 10 bucket system, these are really easy to take out. I'll put my uh, tube into the other one in case the system comes on on the timer. You can just turn it off if you want. Unclip there. Stay, I say. Anyway, it's not on. Just flips out. Simple, simple. All right, so put the new net on. Again, they, these have been on for three years. Definitely had all their use. They're probably still fine, but why not use a new one? Dump that in there. See the new one? That way I don't have to clean off all the roots. This can just be thrown away. We're good. I know I don't like to waste things, but that's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out the bucket as well. As you see it. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that out with some peroxide too. And uh, just let this sit for 15 minutes, just like the other. And we'll refill it. All right, so instead of putting it on the ground and putting it in there, I don't want to waste any of the water because it will continue to drain. So I drain it here as much as possible. So I just let it drain. Set it back in the bucket. One bucket or half half bucket of water and the third cup of hydrogen peroxide, 35%, it'll last you at least 10 buckets. So one, one of our 10 bucket systems, you can clean the whole thing with a third of a cup of the 35% hydrogen peroxide. So it lasts a long time. But I highly suggest get that 35% because there's a whole bunch of uses for it. And we're gonna cover all the uses for the hydrogen peroxide in another video. So stay tuned for that. Um, so till next time. So join our growing community by subscribing and clicking on that notification bell because you don't want to miss a thing.